Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... If you join the Garden Club, you can carry the saw anywhere. Okay, that guy didn't even ask the question. He said, you can carry the saw anywhere. Like, it's matter of fact. Like, you can carry it anywhere, son. So let's talk Greetings. to her. Greetings, robot. Join club? Yes, let's do it. You have joined the club. Okay, so now we can carry garden equipment without being suspicious. And a saw is garden equipment, I guess. Okay, I got the saw in hand. Let's see if any of the students react or if they don't because I am in the gardening club. Let's see. Hi, fellas! Oh, shit! Okay, why are you carrying a power tool? That's really dangerous! You better shut up before I saw you right in the face! But they didn't really do anything. They just mentioned it, and now they're scratching their heads, and now, oh, now they're looking at me again. You're still walking around like that? Let's see what the girls say. Do they say the same thing? Why are you carrying around a power tool? That's really dangerous! Okay, they're saying the same thing. Kakona's taking her phone call. Maybe I can take her place. All right. Who we gossiping about today, ladies? Okay, so apparently if you have the saw in your hands, they're all gonna keep looking at you like they're looking at me right now like I'm some kind of freak show. But maybe I need to join the gardening club and do one activity. And then, Kakona, it's very rude to be right in my face, all right? Right in my face, right in my space. Okay, it is now 5 p.m. We can talk to Mrs. Roboto and Greetings. join the activity. Participate in club activity? Yes. Uh, it doesn't really say what the club activity is, but yes, let's do the gardening club activity. Beginning club activity. Like, what do we do? Do we just, like, plant seeds? The gardening club plants flowers and creates hedge art. That sucks. I will never join the gardening club in real life. I highly doubt this is gonna work, but that is the beauty of Yandere Simulator Myths. You never know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work, but let's see how the students react to this. Ah, oh, same thing. Are you carrying around a power tool? Yes, I am! You see that? Did you see that? I think you saw it. Did you see that? Yeah, everybody sees that? This is a power tool. Come here, fuck boy! Hey, Budo, you're gonna get a saw to the face, bro! It's just a prank, bro! So, no. If you have a saw in your hand, they will react. They won't just be cool with it. On to the next one. If you falcon punch a teacher, can you dismember her? Oh my god, I would absolutely love to dismember a teacher and falcon punch the shit out of them because it's payback for all the times they chase me and tackle me and scare the shit out of me because they always pop up out of nowhere as they're chasing me. So let's get this circular saw and then let's teleport to the classroom and then put on the falcon mode easter egg like so. And you see me with that? Yeah, you do see me with that. Okay, anyway, it doesn't even matter because Yandere PUNCH! Shit. Can we drag her? Can we drag her? Yes! We can pick her up! Hello. Alright, let's put her down right here. And I want to put it in cinematic mode when I do it. So, let's get a great angle. Right over here. Can I lay down? Yes. I want it looking up. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Okay, now we just need to grab the saw. And let's see if we can dismember her. Yes, we can. Success. And we go right for the titty. Just as I would do it in real life. Cool. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, and then they get dismembered. And they're wearing high school student uniform. Plot twist. Who the hell is she anyway? Let me see. Who is she? She's some bald-headed hoe. Who the hell is that? The first plot twist was that she was wearing a uniform. And now the second one is that she was a bald-headed hoe. But to answer your question, yes, you can dismember a teacher. And it's pretty damn cool because she has a school uniform on and she's bald. On to the next one. Can you outrun a teacher when carrying a body? Because I know you can run faster when carrying a body. Well, we are pretty damn fast while carrying a body. But we need to max out our physical education. And it actually is maxed out. So let's just put in random stats. And then I'm going to have Midori as the guinea pig right now. And we don't actually need the saw. Oh, and I'm gonna backstab her. Yeah. Okay. Let's pick her up like so. And then teleport. Okay, run. Go, go, go. Hold on, I got a body. Oh shit, she's gonna get me. Okay, let's see if we can outrun her. Oh fuck, is that senpai? 
Okay, I think it's actually better if we do this in the morning because then there will be no kids in the hallways. So let's pick up Midori Gurinu like so. And then teleport to class. What go! Have you done? Go, go, go! Fuck open the door! Oh, okay. Stop I'm just gonna keep right running now. around this floor's hallway and let's see if she can even catch up to us. Oh my god, she's going to oh, fuck she's right there! Oh shit, she's getting closer! I don't think we're gonna outrun her! Midori! I'm scared, Midori! Fuck! <laughs> Shit, just keep going, girl! Oh my god, she's getting girl! Fuck me! No! <laughs> oh fuck, she got me! I thought we could outrun the teacher, but apparently, it doesn't matter how fast you run, the Terminator Sensei will always get your ass! Remember that, people! You can never outrun the Yandere Simulator teachers. They're always gonna get you. On to the next one. I've got a myth. Be in your room in the evening, press the key and play Senpai of the Night. In the video game, press M key and something will happen. Okay, a little fun fact. I have never played that little mini game inside the room before. So this is gonna be a first time for me playing the video games in the room. You're playing a video game in a video game. It's a video gameception. I mean, mind blown. So let's play it. Video games, Yanvania Senpai of the Nights. Cool. Never done this before. Yanvania Senpai of the Night. Damn, the way she said that made my damn nipples hard. So, do we press M right now? Oh, we do. Yandere Dev, Yandere Dev. Oh, cool. Is that Midori Gurina? The Institute is a boarding school that teaches magical arts to young men and women who have high potential for wizardry and witchcraft. Okay, Harry Potter. Once every 100 years, under the glare of a full moon, the ghost of a long dead succubus will appear within the Institute and beg one of the Institute's upperclassmen to resurrect her with a tribute of blood. Okay, okay. If the succubus is resurrected, all of the school students will vanish. Except for any students who were in love with the upperclassmen that resurrected the succubus. Nice. If the succubus is not slain before the sun rises, the school students will be lost forever. And the succubus' full power will be restored. The succubus can only be slain by a young woman who is in love with the upperclassman that revived the succubus. And that young woman would be moi. The time has once again come for the forces of love and lust to engage in their ancient battle. The Institute beckons you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. Damn. Well read. I have to give that a round of applause. Oh, shit. Game error. The disc is unreadable. Clean the disc with a soft cloth. Restart the console. For more help, visit psychocorp.com slash support. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So Midori read it, Ugh. and then the disc was scratched. The disc is scratched. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a cool little Easter egg, cool little treat. I enjoyed that very much. Thank you for showing me that. If you guys didn't know about it, now you do. On to the next one. If you throw an unconscious body off the railing, will they die? God damn, that is so sick and twisted, but I love it. Okay, first we need to get the trank in the nurse's office. Here we go. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. So let's get that. And who are we going to pick on today? We can't do Midori because, yes, I can get her to follow me and whatever. But I only kill her if she's already on the roof. But we need to get somebody in the trank room. Let's get somebody we haven't messed with that much. Uh, you know what? This blonde-haired girl. Hello? Oh, shit. We got to uh, upgrade our stats. There we go. And now we can talk to her. Can you fatter me? I want to show you something good. Okay, lead the way. She was, like, prematurely running. She's, like, so happy. She's like, okay, lead the way. And she's, like, jogging in place. All right, let's close the door, take out the trank, and stab this skank. Perfect. Now we just got to pick her up, like so. Teleport to the roof. And can we dump her off this one? No. It's only, like, the small railings. Oh, shit, Midori, you saw nothing. You saw nothing, Midori. Oh, wait, this bitch is hella dead. I thought she was sleeping. 
Oh my god, we have to redo this. I thought she was sleeping. But I have blood all over me. She ain't sleeping. She's dead. Okay, let's redo that. Okay, now we should be good. So let's chank this skank. Perfect. Now we have to pick her up. We can't carry her when she's tranked for some reason. So we have to exit the room. So let's teleport to the courtyard. There you go. Let her spaz the fuck out real quick. Drop her. And wait, we can't carry her yet? What the hell? Let's teleport to the roof. Oh god, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Well, we can throw her off the roof right now because she's unconscious. So let me let her go. Let go. Drop, drop, drop. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it. Oh my god. You know what? Here, there you go. Oh, and she's still stuck on the roof. She's kind of like morphed into the wall. Oh my god. All right. We couldn't pick her up for some reason. I don't know if it was a bug and they fixed it, but I'm doing the February 17, 2016 update, so maybe they did fix it and you can't carry the unconscious bodies anymore. All right, guys, this is me using the February 15, 2016 build. Apparently, you can only throw a tranquilized girl off the roof if you're using this build right here. So you see how I could pick her up when she's tranquilized. Let's teleport to the roof, run over to the railing, and you'll see that we can throw her off. See, we can dump her. But this is only in the February 15, 2016 build. All the future builds and beyond, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to throw a tranquilized girl off the roof. Unless Yandere Dev updates it. So, this myth is debunked. You cannot do it in the future builds or the most current build. You can only do it in the February 15, 2016 build. On to the next one. Jay, I got one. Kill all students. Kill all teachers. Laugh, clean yourself, and change your clothes. Burn the murder weapon and clothes. At the end of the day, will it say teachers walk around the school when there is no teachers? Ah, very good, young grasshopper. That is a good one. Let's go into falcon mode because that is my favorite mode to do. And then I'm going to try to get these people in a line right here. So let me line it up. And come on, one more person come through. One more person come through. All right, you know what? I'll just get you two Yandere. in a row. One, two, Pump. boom! That is sick. Yandere. And then you. Pump. Boom! And then you. And the pussy. Damn. That was nasty. Okay, let me see if I can get these two in a row. I just got to kill everybody Yandere. on the map. Boom! And then let me see if I can get you in a diagonal. Yandere. Oh, yeah. Pump. Boom! Oh, shit. I missed that. Oh, teacher's pet. Ah. Fuck. Get him. Damn it. Senpai's aura. Shit. Yandere punch Yandere. right in your pussy! Oh god, I gotta kill people within four minutes, so let's get this started. Come on, you're Yandere. dead. Punch. Boom! Alright, let's get the teacher Yandere. in here. Punch. Boom! And then there's another one on the second floor. Wait, I think I saw a fuckboy that was in here. Yes, Yandere. I did! Punch. Boom! Oh, this is my homeroom teacher. Yandere. Not anymore! Punch. And now we're on the third floor. These are the last two teachers in the Yandere. school. That is an ugly Punch. ass haircut. Oh, I hate it when girls have that kind of haircut. And last teacher of the day belongs to this bitch Yandere. right over here. Punch. Boom. Oh, let's see if I can knock this hoe over the railing. Yandere. Let's go. Oh, shit. Sayonara, mother sucker. Midori, too. Let's see how far I can send her ass. Bye-bye. Holy shit. That's too nasty. Uh, oh, sayonara, Yandere. kudere. Punch. Boom. All right, I'm just making my rounds. There are no more teachers left in the school. There are a couple of these people, so let me kill Yandere. him real quick. Punch. You saluting motherfucker. And then this evil bitch Yandere. right over here. Punch. Boom. And then I saw somebody by the lockers. Oh, I already got your sister earlier. Schwabo. And I think that's it. I think I got everybody in here. Let me see the occult club members. Oh, yeah. No more reading. Reading Yandere. time is now over. Punch. Oh, shit. You're Yandere. dead, too. Punch. Boom. And you... Oh, gotcha! Oh, this guy's trying to run, but Yandere. no luck. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Fuck! Okay, I gotta go a little bit forward. You're dead. Come on! Yes! Oh, shit, she's gonna try to run too. I Yandere. don't think so! Punch. Fuck! Fuck, get her, get her, get her, get her! All right, Yandere. you're dead. Punch. Get her! Yes! All right, got her. All the occult club members are dead. I think now... Oh, shit, I only have 30 seconds. Get the martial arts fuck boys! Get them! Okay. Let's do these two Yandere. in a line. Punch. Boom. And then Budo. Martial arts fuck boy. Punch. And then this Yandere. bitch. Get him, get him, get him. Fuck. 
16 seconds. We can do this. All right, they're trying to go down here. I don't Thundering. think so. Pop. Boom! Got them both! That is too legit! Okay, those were the last of the people. All right, let's see what the police say or if they say that the teachers are walking around the school. The police arrive at school. Oh, please discover the corpses of all the people. Holy shit! <laughs> the police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere chan but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Fuck yeah! Okay, so I killed everybody in the school. I believe it's like that even when you end the day. So the teachers aren't going to walk around the school. But just to be sure, I'm going to do that one more time and then end the day before the police come. And then let's see what happens. Okay, I just got done killing all the students. This is the last teacher. She's the one on the third floor. Whoa, boom! <laughs> And I have no police timer, so let's end the day, and let's see what happens at the very end. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. That's bullshit! That is horseshit. I killed every single teacher in the game. Look how many people I killed! I killed everyone in the game, and teachers still walk around. So, to answer your question, if you kill everybody in the school, including the teachers, a magical fairy tale teacher will still be walking around and then she'll see all the bodies and call the police. On to the last myth of today's episode. I have a myth. Kill all the teachers. Kill a random student. Show the student's body to a teacher's pet. Will they speak to thin air or run away home? Okay, so in order to kill the teachers, we need one of the Easter eggs. I like bad time mode myself. So let's go kill all the teachers. Okay, I gotta do this before 7.30. Bang this bitch's head against the wall. God, I love doing that. I don't get tired of doing that. But let's go to the second floor. All the teachers are on the same side of the school, so that's convenient. None of them are ever around, like, another side. So let's grab you and start banging against the wall. I mean, I know they're dead as soon as you pick them up. You don't need to bang them against the wall. But I love doing that, all right? I love slapping them against the wall. That's how I feel about teachers when they give me so much damn homework. But since I'm on the third floor, let's do it a different way. Time to give this bitch the caster blaster. Perfect. And we got one more teach right on the end over here. Class 3-1. You know what happens to the teacher in 3-1? She's done, son. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Okay, all the teachers are dead. Let's kill in front of a teacher's pet and let's see what happens. Actually, here's what I'm going to do so Senpai doesn't notice me. I am going to get... This teacher's pet right over here. Oh, shit, wait. I can't talk to any of them because it's going to do this psychokinesis. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill Senpai. And Senpai is right over here. Boom! Damn, that was sick. Okay, let's see where the teacher's pet goes. Uh, They're all running away. Yes, the teacher's pet. Where are you guys going to go? Teacher's pet? Okay, this teacher's pet went here. Let's see where these teacher's pets go. There's so many damn teacher's pets. Where are you going? He's gonna go right here, right? Yup, they always go to the same desk. I don't know why. Is that like the fuckboy teacher's pet desk? Saw a student with horrible injuries. Yeah, right. <laughs> None of the teachers are gonna notice this. Yeah, so they go to a desk. This desk specifically. They all go to that on random floors. Let me see if there's another teacher pet in this room. Yes, there is, see? Look at this fuckboy. Why do you go to this desk, huh? Why? Tell me. Let me guess. Fuckboy in here at the same desk. Yes! Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, so they don't run away. It doesn't matter if the teacher is alive or dead. They always run to that specific desk in each classroom. Hopefully that answers your question. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in the comments below and I will choose the most creative or unique one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!